You know, we are here today to celebrate the life of Mrs. Martha Dews. Of course, the one thing she's known for is the longevity of 104 and a half years old. Don't forget that half. So she's run her race. We, we call it a marathon. You get to be that age, that's not just a race, that's a marathon. And she's made it to the finish line. And so she is to be celebrated today. I know there's going to be tears. But if you knew Sister Dues, you knew what the scripture said. We don't have to sorrow like those that don't have hope. For she is with Jesus even as we speak. And wouldn't want to descend back down to this earth if you, want, if you asked her to. She's whole. And she's with her, her love, Jesus Christ. Amen. And with her loved ones that have passed on before her. We want to say to the family on behalf of all the ministers, to, to Mrs. Moon, and to James and Jeff, Kelvin, Belinda, and Josephine, and all the family, that we are praying for you, and that we love you, and that we are here for you if you need anything uh, for this wonderful family. We're going to go by the program. The family has asked us to stick right with the program that they have put in place, and so uh, here uh, shortly we're going to have uh, a scripture reading, Old Testament by Dr. Bernie Miller, uh, then a New Testament reading, Minister James Odom, after that a prayer of comfort, Dr. Jesse Brodnax, and then a musical selection by the Grace Baptist Tabernacle Choir as we celebrate the life of Mrs. Martha Dews. Yes, Thank you. 
from New Covenant Fellowship Church. Thanks to the pastor, Pastor Carter, for allowing me to play a part in the family as well for their invite. The Bible says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones, and certainly this was a precious one in this sight. I'd like to read from the Old Testament from Psalm 90. It says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you gave birth to the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn, me, you turn man back into dust and say, return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it passes by or as a watch in the night mm -hmm. you have swept them away like a flood they fall asleep in the morning they are like grass which sprouts anew toward evening it fades and withers away the length of our days is 70 years <laughs> or 80. Mm. <laughs> of course uh, we broke the record on that one <laughs> if we have the, the strength Yet their span is but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. So teach us to number our days that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. May the Lord add a blessing through the reading of his word. Thank you. Amen. 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 We know that this is a great, 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 great. celebration. Amen. Amen. It's not often that we come across a celebration like this often. Amen. Mm -hmm. so last night I was sharing with Pinky, mm -hmm. before I get to the uh, New Testament scripture, there was something that we wanted to share with you all. And it's about the number 104. Mm. 104 is considered to be a powerful and significant number. And in that combination, you have two numbers. All right. You have 10 and you have four. Mm -hmm. mm. 10 is always associated with completeness or perfection. While four represents earth and the physical world. 
104 also represents the fullness of time and the completion of a cycle. 104 also represents God's kingdom. 104 also represents wisdom and understanding. Amen. 104 also represents part of the Holy Spirit. All right. It also represents love. Therefore, 104 can be a symbol of the completion of God's plan and the fullness of his promise. Mm -hmm. Mahatma lived a complete fullness yeah. of life, yeah. a complete right. cycle, cycle, the whole cycle. <laughs> and as I think about this, I think about the tree. You can tell a tree. All right by the fruit that it bears. Amen. And as I look around and I see our family and our friends, and I see the fruit that she bared. But not only the fruit, but if you think about a fruit, every fruit has seeds. Amen. Look at all of the seeds that is here today. Amen. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I am so grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this family. Amen. Amen. <sighs> okay, now scripture is coming from <laughs> John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. That where I am, there ye may be also. Whether I go in the way ye know. And Thomas said unto the Lord, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader and hearers of his word. Amen. Amen. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to Pastor Carter, uh, Dr. Robinson, and the pulpit Yes. I would be remiss if I didn't have something to say about Mrs. Dews. Over a century old, God allowed her to stay on this earth. Someone said, well, what is your connection to Sister Dews? I remember when my brother was going through a liver transplant and mentally and, and spiritually, I, I would preach here, but my heart wouldn't be completely in it. Sister Do, Sister Connor, and Mrs. McKissick. All right, all right, all right. Uh -huh. They meet me at the back door. He said, Reverend, you sure did preach. And I'm looking, saying, what? <laughs> point that I'm making is she was an encourager. Yes, praise God. She would encourage you. Praise God. And you don't see that a whole lot today of encouraging people to go on in the Lord. I wish I could hug every one of you, so I, I'll give you the hug. Be not dismayed. You believe God. Jesus said, be also in me. Let's pray, Father. We do come in a time to where there is tears and hurt. But the last time I checked, Lord, you said you are the great helper. Yes, yes. Whatever we go through, Lord, you said that you will help us through it. Yes. Not only help us through it. Yes, yes. But Father, give us peace about it. And I pray right now for this family, Lord, that, uh, that one day, if they want to see Miss Dues again, 
Lord, they must be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Many have already done that, yes, Father. Sir. And so, Father, we pray for comfort for this family. Yes. And we know that only the Holy Spirit yes. is the comforter. Yes. Yes. So, Father, I pray that you, the tears that flow and the hurt that's there, Lord, that, oh, God, that you just touch their hearts. Yes. yes. And be with them, Lord, in those hours when they think about her. And, Lord, may this family think about her legacy. Yes. The things that she have already done, Lord, that, uh, for this family, the matriarch of this family, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I pray, Father, that they will have good memories. Yes. Even though there were some bad times and, and, and good times, Father, some valleys and some mountains, Lord, but they have a memory of their grandmother and mother and, and, and Lord, whatever she may have been to this family, Lord. So, Lord, bless this family. You've already blessed them through her. And I pray, Father, you continually speak to this family. Amen. Father, we know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes. And we know, Father, that uh, uh, no flesh and blood can go to heaven. Yes. We know that her soul is right there present with you, Lord. Amen. We know that she won't receive that new body until we receive our new body. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And so if the family uh, hope to see her again, Lord, they, they must be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Well, we shall be caught up together. We shall be changed in the moment of the twinkling of our eye. Lord, that will be the time that we will see her again. Praise the Lord. We have that body with no more pain, yes. no more diseases, no more tears, yes, yes. Lord, uh, no more curse, but Father, a body that will be fashioned as you are, Jesus, in Philippians 3.21. So, Father, I pray now that you comfort this family again. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Good morning to everybody, especially to this, oh, all this wealth of, oh, all this wealth of ministering, Pastor Big, Pastor Bernie, Skinny Miller, Dr. Uh, Dr. Dr. Brownnecks, and my wonderful pastor, Pastor Carter, and Pastor, I don't know your name, Pastor Olive at Baptist Church, but I know you, but you my dude, you my dude, you my dude, you my dude, and Pastor Marsha Robinson. You know, I don't have to know you. I don't have to know you by name and know you by face. This lady yesterday, I was walking out of uh, walking out of um, Dillard's the department store, and this lady walked out. She was walking out. She said, uh, oh, Pastor Kendall Scape. Let the church say amen. Amen, Pastor Kendall Scape. Amen. Anyway, this lady said, Tawana. I didn't know her from Adam. She said, Tawana, but she knew me. But that's all right. Because the lady blessed my heart. She blessed my soul. Mm -hmm. And it's just how you carry yourself in this world. So I love these ministers up here. And guess what? I love Mama, Miss Miss Martha, Miss Martha Dudes. And guess what? I was her favorite piano player in the whole wide world. So that's the, that's the family say amen. Say amen, family. Y'all know I was her favorite, you know, until Jeff Sears came around. Oh, yeah, it was a different story. But I, I was her favorite piano player. Say those things that are not this, though they are. And I'm going to take that I'm gonna take that and put to my grave with me. But anyway, anyway, we're, we're going to do a song right now that my girlfriend, was supposed to be singing if I remember, my girlfriend had to go to work if you want something done do it yourself okay just do it yourself <laughs> just do it yourself but anyway um, Martha, Miss Martha Dews was a beautiful woman I can remember the last time I saw her we were at the uh, the, the, the senior event, senior night event. She was so pretty, dressed so pretty. But Belinda thought she was looking good. Mama Dudes was looking good. Mama Luz and, and Mama and Mama Sears here was looking good. They were looking good. And I told Belinda, I told Belinda that night. I said, Honey, if I ever get sick and I need some blood, I don't want yours. I don't want your mamas. I definitely don't want Jeff's. 
Just please give me Mama Dude's. Give me Mama Dude's blood. Bring. I don't even want my mama's blood. I want Mama Dude's blood. Yes. Cause that 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 was a sweet, so sweet and so sweet and just so sweet. And if I can be anything half like her, I, that, that that would be a blessing. And I just want you all to know that we're gonna try to do this song because I'm not a singer. I'm not a singer, but I'm gonna sing this song for Sister Dudes. Okay, I'm gonna sing this song for Dr. That's Sister right. Dudes. Anyway, you all be with us and pray with us, and we hope that you will be blessed by this song that we're gonna Amen. sing. Because some, you know, something kept her going. Something inside. You know what? You know what it was. Something inside that kept her going. And y'all know I don't get to talk much. That's why, but I'm gonna be quiet now. Lord but anyway, we're gonna get ready to sing. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna sing the song. Mm-hmm. Well, something inside of me telling me. Till last night, and I said, You're gonna play this song, and he played it. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, y'all pastor always doing me like that, sitting here. Like Amen. We're gonna stick with the program. Thank you, choir. Thank you, wonderful singing. We want to make sure we stick with the program. Upcoming are the reflections for our grandsons, Mr. James Sears and Mr. Jeff Sears, great grandson, Mr. Corey Sears, and then. 
our county commissioner, Minister Gregory Beck, and then the founding pastor of this church, Pastor Emeritus, Dr. Marshall Robinson. And when the reflections are over, Ms. Dolores Lewis is gonna come with the resolutions, and then Mrs. Belinda Sears Smith will come with the acknowledgments. Definitely a celebration Amen. of my grandmother's life. She meant so much to all of us. But you know, when I think about 1918 through 19, I mean 2023, that little word dash. That little symbol dash. Yeah. You know, that means a lot. Because the thing of it is, you don't know what all took place. That's right. In that dash. From 1918 through 2023. That little word dash, that little symbol dash, is powerful. It holds a lot. But you know, my grandmother, she was full of love. Yes. 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 My grandmother loved to travel. My grandmother loved to cook. My grandmother loved to bake. It wasn't a time oh. where we didn't go over to her house and on that table <laughs> was a cake <laughs> of some sort. Wow. Wow. And let me say this. I love spam sandwiches. <laughs> the reason I love spam sandwiches is because the times I would be over at my grandmother's house working for her in the yard and stuff, and then when it was lunchtime, she made a spam sandwich. <laughs> but it wasn't no ordinary spam sandwich. Because she took the time to spread that mayonnaise just so evenly. But then when she cut the spam, it wasn't too thick, it wasn't too thin. But it was love that she put in it. And I still eat spam sandwich today. Like I said, my grandmother loved to travel. And she and I, we took a lot of trips together and stuff. And I thank God for that. But a couple of years or so, I used to, I called her regularly. And she would tell me, she said, you know, I want to come to Florida. I want to come to Florida to see y'all. I said, yes, mm -hmm. ma'am, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Then if when I call, she'll say it again. Where you at and where you live? I said, we're in Florida. Ooh, I want to come to Florida. I want to go. I said, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But through the grace of God, Amen. my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece, mm. my grandmother and mother was able to spend Thanksgiving with us last year. Amen. What a blessing. What a blessing. My grandmother couldn't have made it if it wasn't for the strength of the Lord. Yes. Yes. One thing that comes to mind is they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings of an eagle. They will walk and not faint, mm -hmm. and run, and not get weary. Mm -hmm. She knew that, yeah. and God kept her. Yeah. What, a what a beautiful lady she was. Yeah. She loved us. She had a yes. heart of gold. Mm -hmm. She was humble. Mm -hmm. She was meek. She was loving. She was respectful. Well, I guess I'm saying she was the fruits of the Spirit. <laughs> but
But as I take my seat, let me say this. My grandmother did her own eulogy. Wow. By the way she lived. Amen. 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 That's right, brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. Tell that father. Wow. <laughs> My grandmother. She was all those things that he said. But she was more than that. She was a friend. She was a confidant. I've told her things. We went to the grave with her. And yes, to one, she did call me Baby Jeff. <laughs> But she taught us a lot of things, and, and we're going to miss her. We're going to miss her a lot. She taught us how to love. And like I said, respect others. Uh, even through the terrible times that she grew up in, she didn't hate. I want to leave you with this. When you read her obituary, you will see where she was strong about voting. Voted up until at, at 104, she voted. But one of my greatest, fondest memories of my grandmother was sitting with her and my mother, watching the election returns when President Obama was elected president, and the tears of joy that flowed down her face. Here's a woman that was not allowed to vote under no circumstances. She said, I never thought I'd see the day that we would have a black president in these United States. She was so happy, and it made me ecstatic to see the joy in her face. Some of the things that we take for granted today, she taught us how to appreciate her because she was just that way. Thank you. Hello, my name is Corey Sears. I'm the eldest great-grandchild of Martha Pauline Dews, who most of us call Mama. At this time, I'd like to invite all her great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, great-great-great-grandchildren up to join me in honor our great-grandmother. First, we'd like to give honor to God for allowing us to be blessed with such a wonderful woman to enter our lives in the role of our great-grandmother. There are not enough words to describe the kindness and love she showed us. Throughout the years, the house she made us all feel so special. Her grace would never compromise because that's who she was, grace, at its finest, for 104 years. Her strength is unmeasured, her kindness like no other, her love forever lasting. 
her laughter full of joy. She was the best grandma, great grandmother any one of us could ever possibly ask for. And we are so proud and honored to her legacy, to be her legacy. We want to thank Uncle Pinky, Uncle Dwight, for sustaining and caring for Mamat. We honor and love you both. In the words of Tina Walker, to care for those who once cared for us of the highest honor. This is not a goodbye to our sweet Lady of Grace. This is a thank you. Thank you for coming to our lives and giving us so much and joyful, unconditional love. We love you, Mamat, forever, always, your legacies. Pastor, I know you said two minutes on that. Can I have 30? <laughs> it would take about 30 minutes to say all I wanted to say about our queen. Uh, but I'm going to try to hold it to two minutes. And uh, one good and bad thing about being this far down on the list <laughs> is most of the good things have already been said. <laughs> but I can only reiterate uh, what uh, has been said uh, already. Uh, when uh, the queen was born, uh, it was way, way back when, uh, as Jeff said, that they weren't allowed to vote. And she witnessed all of those wars overseas and black men who were going overseas to get killed fighting for America and came back here not able to vote or have equal rights. So she lived through all of that. And then uh, in 1920, uh, women got the right to vote, but still they had to go through these silly questions at the, uh, at the polls, poll tax and all of that. And uh, in 1965, I believe, full voting rights were, were given to African Americans, and we didn't have to go through those silly poll tax again. But uh, it, it, it just thrilled my heart. Uh, somebody's already mentioned that she, Jeff said, that she loved the political process. And it thrilled my heart to be out on the poll last year when uh, Jeff uh, and uh, and I think Claudia was with them, and uh, 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 Miss Moon. They all came by with uh, Mother Dews in the car. And she had no doubt got out of the bed that morning and went down to the polls and lifted her frail hand and voted for the last time. So we honor her. You know, my wife and I, and we would like to extend our most uh, uh, sincere condolences to the family at this time. Uh, Patricia pulled together a, a seniors night out and uh, last year we had the pleasure and I asked them if I could be a part, have a little part of the seniors night out and uh, that's when we were able to uh, crown Mother Dews the queen of all girlfriends. <laughs> And I, oh, she would always be, she would just love for me to call her baby girl. <laughs> and uh, she, she, we had good times together, and in times we talked on the phone uh, when they would allow, when she would be, she would be able to answer the phone because, uh, she wouldn't be able to answer the phone because she'd be outside working in the yard. So she liked that. But let me say in closing, um, on behalf of my wife and I, uh, long live the queen. Amen. Long live the queen. Uh, long live uh, the memory of the queen. Long live the 
funny cackle in her voice when she laughed with us. Long live her words of encouragement to me as she talked, as we talked with each other. In the memory of her favorite place, long live that where she sat when she was able to come to church. Long live the memory of the love that she had for her home family and for her church family. Amen. Now then, let me say this in closing. If you fail to call her name or to acknowledge her presence in this world, she is dead for good. But if every day you think of the warm smile that she had, her favorite food that she cooked for you and you ate, the times that she was there when you needed somebody to hold you up. If you fail to remember that, she is gone forever. But as for my part, I have a little radio program I can talk on every, every week. I promise I will not let this community or anybody in the sound of that voice forget Mother Dews, the queen of all girlfriends. And you will hear her voice, or you will hear her name mentioned every single week. Thank you very much. this great family, our pastor, and other ministers that share the chancel here with us today. This is a celebration. All of the good things has been said. I remember when I was pastor here, there were five ladies that was in the age of 80 and above. And all of those ladies were a tremendous blessing to me. And many times they would get together and I remember when I asked one of those old ladies to give us one of those old hymns that they did in the church when they were growing up. We don't hear them anymore. One of them was, I love the Lord. He heard my cry and pitted every groan. As long as I live and trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne. Amen. We don't hear those things anymore. We have missed something. Mother Dews was one of those could pitch those old hymns. Those five ladies, was Sister McCray, Mother Connor, my mother, Sister McKissick, and Sister O'Neill, as Ursa Raymond's grandmother, and Mother Dews. We had a little thing going on. When she found out that I was the oldest of the ministers that was here, she would meet me at the door back there after the close of service and she would hug me. And she had something she called me, but very few people knew it. I was the old man. <laughs> she said, old man, you bless my heart today. 
And Jeff asked me one day, she, he said, uh, why are you always hugging the women in my life? <laughs> I say, I say, son, I knew your wife when she was a baby. <laughs> and I said, Mother Dudes and I have something special going on. <laughs> so we're going to miss her. She didn't love in a surreptitious manner. And if we would go to try to count all of the things that she was and, and how she loved, there's a plethora of things that time would not permit. But if we would check out the iconography of her life, here it is. Here it is. All of these seeds in her life are from her life. It is a blessing. But in body, she is no longer with us. She have met that group that she was a part of. There's a verse in Psalms 116 and the 15th verse. It says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. But there's another verse in 1 Corinthians 15, the 57th verse. It says, but thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. She has that victory. She is seeing him face to face today. And she's with that other group of women that could say, when we all get to him. <laughs> What a day of rejoicing it would be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. They are shouting today. All of those women that was in my life, they are together today. And no matter what you all think, she wouldn't come back to see you. <laughs> this lady was a blessing. Before my wife had a stroke when she was in her own home over here, we would go by sometime. And we would go by in order to try to bless her. But we wind up with the blessing. Just being there with her. And she had this smile that was in 